loves me. Who loves me not. So Sinister's gone now, and Daisy's taking me to Maui with 12 Pack and Flex, and it's a huge relief, because now I know I'm gonna have more time to win her over. I've gotta get every minute I can of one-on-one -on -one time with her. This is the last time we're going to be in the house. We are leaving the room forever. We're going to Maui now, and it doesn't get any better than this right here. Lexi, you ready to do this? Let's go, bitch. Going to Maui. The only concern I have is, if London ends up with this girl in the end, Holy shit, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. All right, here's some luggage. There it goes. Uh -oh. like some All right. Back to the oh, oh, yeah. Take two. Do you At think least that? <laughs> Are you guys ready to get the hell out of here and go to Maui? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Let's go. Right now. Maui, here we come. Plenty of room in the trunk for you. I've never ever been to Hawaii before, and I'm really excited that I get to share this adventure with these guys. What is this? I'm oh, hearing some drums. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> we finally get to the hotel. We are just pumped up. There are drums going. And we just can't wait to go part. Aloha, guys. Welcome to the island of Maui. You are going to have an incredible time. We have my friend Kapili. Gentlemen, he's going to show you to your rooms. So Daisy, Kapili. you come with me. Show us what we got. Holy. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Back Call it. Oh. Um, Call it. You can sleep here. I'm going to physically put you onto the couch, kind of like you're sleeping Don't in my gym. And the London here. These guys have been kind of riding me the whole time. Is there better? Yes. He's got a bedroom in there. I outsmarted the both of them. I've got my own room. Oh, <laughs> He's got to go to the couch. You know, I like really this room better. Yeah, I like, this, I like this room a lot better. We find out that there is an extra bedroom. Why is this bed so nice for me? Because 12 packs in. So me and 12 pack, we decide to break his bed in a little bit. Oh my god, your pillows are so comfortable, Thanks, man. dude. There's a pillow, Hi. They trashed my bed and Flex rubbed my pillow on his balls and stuff. And what they didn't realize though is that I don't care what I'm sleeping on. What's up? Dude, Dude, how long have you guys off the wall? He thrashed this place. No, no, Disrespectful so squad. Our goal here, besides winning Daisy, is to make London feel as uncomfortable as humanly possible until maybe he just packs his bag and sails his way back home. Guys, this is the real deal. Daisy has written some letters for each of you. She said that these were uh, very important to her. So I'd like to give Flex, here is yours. Dear Flex, I've never dated a guy like you. But once our romance started, it grew like crazy. I feel myself starting to fall for you. But I also have some concerns. You blow up a lot, especially if you don't get your way. I'm not sure if it's because you're young and impatient or if you just can't control your emotions. My letter says I have an anger problem. Fuck that, that's bullshit. 12 pack, there's yours. Dear Dave, confidence is great, but playing it so cool isn't very exciting for me. Truth is, I'm not exactly sure how you feel about me. I kind of thought every single day I've been here, I've been letting her know how I'm feeling. If she wants to know how I'm feeling, I'm gonna let her know. London? All right. Dear London, how can we have a relationship when you're new, when you're, what does it say? When, you're, when you run away. When you run away, when things get tough. When things get tough. <laughs> I want us both bold. to be in, not just me. It could be the most amazing thing ever. Amazing thing ever. Thank you. Oh my god. Come on. Sound it out. Sound it out. Maybe she should draw pictures next time. I'm a little worried now because 
I can't seem to make her come around to realizing that I am trustworthy. I've got to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try really hard, though. I know I've said for weeks now, step up your game. Now's the time to really turn it on. 45 minutes, be on the beach. Thank you, God. Hi. Hey. hey, guys. Welcome to Maui. So we walk out to the beach, and all these big, huge, like, surfboards on steroids are sitting there. And we're like, what the hell is going to happen now? A couple years ago, big wave surfers kind of created this new sport, stand-up paddle surfing. Yeah, I have a right, feeling that I'm going to get hurt, but let's fucking do it anyways. Paddle boarding is going to be awesome. Who wants to go first? We'll get you out. I'll go first. Okay. Come on, let's go. Blex is the first guy to jump in the water. Go, Blex! Oh. Yeah! Oh, wow. Yeah. That went well. And that's what I love about him. He's game for anything and always full of energy. Huh? You guys coming? I'll go. All right, let's do it. Yeah! I don't understand what we're doing here. Yeah. I can't even get up on this thing. I mean, I eat the water like five, six, seven, eight times. And I didn't want to mess my hair up. This is the finale. I didn't, I didn't ask plant, actually. I hope that that's not used, but I, I definitely landed on my ass. Did you see that? Daisy's a cool chick. Every time there's a challenge or something in her way, she'll be the first one to get up there and just do it. She stood on that paddle board longer than the three of us combined. Nice. Uh, oh. Oh my God. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I saw my damsel in distress. Oh, my God. This is my time to shine. I went right in and saved her. Thank you. So far, Maui has been an absolute blast. Right now, I want you guys to go get cleaned up and get ready for dinner. But now, it's time to get serious. So, I will see you all soon. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Are we going to dinner? Are we going to take the table? Maybe, you know. I'm excited for dinner. I gotta make a good impression tonight. It was set up nice, really nice, the dinner table. I mean, I'm used to like, you know, a slice of pizza, you know on a dirty couch watching, uh, you know, Motley Crue videos and stuff, but, uh... Uh-oh. Wow! All of a sudden, we hear some horns blow. We turn to our left, and we see Daisy walking out on a guy's shoulder. She's in a bikini looking hot as hell. Thank you. Wow! As one big Samoan. <laughs> He's made homie we go way pasta, back. Sweetie, that's a good it, it looks what, like I... it looks like we got some. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. <I> said... <laughs> so this big Hawaiian guy comes out of nowhere carrying a machete and a coconut. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. I don't want to look like I'm a pansy or anything like that, but seriously, like, the guy's chopping coconuts in my face. Get a little closer to the mohawk guy. Oh, and it's open. This is for you. Right there. Right there. Shit going on this Oh, man. That's what I do in my spare time. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. I don't know. Push it right here. Daisy is looking so good in this little hula skirt and her fake coconuts. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. All right. Woo! All right. I'm having so much fun, but I need to figure out which one of these guys is going to be my guy. And there is no easy way to do that. I would definitely like um, um, just talk to you about like stuff like what yeah? you wrote in the, your letter. I'm not maybe as good with like 
explain myself sometimes to some people, but I'm trying to like repair, like I'm trying to fix the mistake I made, but it's not because I didn't want you, I didn't care about you. When I left, the next day I remember waking up and being like, what the hell did I do? And I made a stupid mistake because I want to protect myself. Protecting myself hasn't gotten me anywhere. I was afraid to have feelings for somebody. I've always been like that. And that's why I left, is because I had feelings for you. And I think that you're worth you're, worth, you're somebody who makes a person want to be better than they are. So, What a generic answer you just gave right there, dude. That was really heartfelt. That was Sorry to interrupt. Up. No, that's fine. Go ahead, cut me off. Go ahead and continue. Like, this is, these are things I'm not used to, like acknowledging my mistakes. Like, I'm not good at it. I make a lot of bad decisions, but I, like, you know. A lot. You're 30 years old, you have no job. No, I do have a job. Well, where actually, are you going man. in life? I've, I've, worked, I've, I've had a consistent job for a long time. Man. And are you employed right now? I, absolutely. No, actually, no, I quit my job. To okay, where do you live right now? Where do I live? I live in Brooklyn. With who? Yeah. Actually, I live with my guitar player. Is your band signed or anything? My band's not signed years right old. now. That's the but, thing. If you're, like, but, if you're my age, I'm 22 and young. If you want to hear, like, hear yeah. about it, actually. My band actually was I like... I don't want no, you to talk real. about that. No. I want you to talk about no. me. I do want to talk about you, but like these guys are going to like try to make me look stupid. You're 30, 30 years old, old man. You have no, nothing to I'm offer Daisy at all to help her with stability. Okay, fantastic. You know my whole life story, dude. Flex is pissed off at attacking me again. Just looking really bad for him. Flex, why the fuck? Do you have to attack London so much? He's a fucking loser, and I don't care what you say. I called Flex a hothead in the letter, and here he is proving me right. I Who don't. gives a shit? I give don't. a shit about me and you. I do. Then why do you always have to keep fucking? Because how is it me and you when other guys involved? There's That's no me and you when other guys involved. I'm Three's sorry. Three's company. Flex wears his emotions on his sleeve and doesn't know how to react under pressure. And Daisy doesn't need a guy who every time she messes up gets all pissed at everything. Well, you said specifically in my letter that these guys or the other guys in the house show you that they want you more than me. I just feel like I don't know exactly how you feel about me. Really? You say that you like me, but in what way? I'd really rather, you know, I'd rather not. Daisy just comes right out and says, how do you feel about me? And throws my entire strategy for the whole night completely off because I wanted to do that, not in front of Flex in London, but when it was just an eye to eye and a heart to heart. Well, you know what? I'd rather really not tell you entirely in front this of every single person. My at favorite this dinner at all. And if you can Why though? I don't hold back my feelings. I go for it. And if I get fucked up along the way, so be it. But at least I took a chance. This is the first time I've seen 12 Pack act a little nervous. Um, I think yeah, I think all of us are. There's three of us. Someone's got to go. You know, as much <laughs> as I'd love to sit here and tell you just everything, you know, it's like there still is that. I don't know. Well, I'm not afraid to hold back, so I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Um, I can name like 60 million things that I like about you. I like the fact that you're crazy. I like the fact that you're random. Like, you're just like me. You like, I love the fact that you're independent. You you don't care if you go out in public and you don't care what people tell you because that's who you are. We flipped that freaking doom buggy together and you laughed. <laughs> you, the first thing you funny. did is you laughed. That's what I love about you. Thank you. If I end up with flex, this could possibly be the most healthy relationship I've been in in a long time. I just know that I care about you, okay? Thank you very much. Flex hears the fact that I'm stuttering and decides to come right out and let her know how he feels, and it sounds a lot more convincing than what I was about to say. It's so hard for me, honestly, to open up to somebody and tell them how I feel exactly. Like, it is. I'm falling so in love with you. I think you are one of the most beautiful, just amazing girls. And by that, I mean completely confusing, which sucks because I have a really big decision to make. So, I am going to send one of you home tomorrow. And it's not going to be a very easy decision for me. I don't give you guys my answer anymore. But the clock is ticking, and I got to do what I got to do.
We know we've got elimination coming up. Someone's going home. We get in the limo. We're all a little agitated because we're wondering who it's going to be. Man, why do I feel like I'm going home? Shut up. You and fucking love are going to stay, dude. Relax. This morning is rough. I just keep thinking about everything that I could have said differently. We're all just so nervous. It's like we're about to go walk down to the gas chamber. And we don't know where we're going exactly, but we know that only two people are coming back. We're going to the airport. <laughs> we are going to the airport. There's a helicopter thing up here. Holy crap. I know Daisy's serious, but the elimination ceremony at the airport, she really wants one of us to go home fast. Well, guys, it's been quite the journey so far. One of you has to go home now. Ricky and Daisy are standing there next to a helicopter. One person is going home right now, and I'm just hoping that ticket does not say New Jersey on Last night was really intense, but I know exactly what I want to do. I can't hear anything. I can't hear a word she said. I can't hear anything. Do we really got to do this ceremony at the airport? London, please come here. Last night, when you looked in my eyes and told me that you were in 200%. It's really loud at this airport. I see them talking, but I can't really make out any words. I don't know if he just got eliminated. I believed you. They're going to stay here in Maui with me. Thank you. Ricky, will you please take London back to the hotel? I feel good about myself because I know how low I was and, and, you know, I like that maybe people underestimate me a little bit. London, I'll see you tomorrow for okay. a special date. Okay. When Daisy calls London up, I really couldn't hear what they were saying, but I noticed she sends him back to the limo with Ricky, and I know he's in the final two. It's between me and Flex right now. I feel like only one of you right now is ready to move forward with me in this relationship. Dave, please come here. You have a guard up. We don't have time right now to break that guard down, you know what I'm saying? If you want to send me home, go ahead. You're a wonderful person. I just don't think that I can pick you right now. Someone take me home, please. Can I at least just get no. a goodbye? I know she wants to make this a good goodbye, but you know what? I didn't come here for any goodbye, so it's not gonna be good. And then I see 12 Pack just getting really upset. And I'm like, oh my God. I felt bad for the guy, actually. Like, he was really, he really took it hard. You made the right decision. Trust me. All right. You sure? Yeah, I don't like to make people feel like that, you know? I just, I want to say goodbye to you. I hope you can just at least try to be happy for me. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Dave. It just feels like I set myself up to be let down like every other time in my life. 12 pack, you're a wonderful man, but I'm not too sure that you were actually here for me. 12 pack, your check is void. So guess what? What? We are going to spend the whole day together, yes. me and you, yeah. starting with a ride and that helicopter right there. So let's go. Yeah, I'm hurt that 12 pack just went home. Believe me, he was a great dude. He's a friend of mine, but he's gone. It's me in London, mano y mano. May the best man win. Are you ready for this, Daisy? Or oh my God. <laughs> you should have I don't know. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I might throw up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm stuck in an empty parking lot by myself. I don't even care. I should never told the girl that I honestly cared about. I should never told her that I was falling for her because every time I ever tell a girl that, this is what happens to me. I get left with nothing every time. I don't know. 
I don't know if I'll ever be able to tell anybody again that I love them or I'm falling in love with them. Because... Go now. I hate being a heartbreaker, but I had to do what was right for me. I'm flying in a helicopter for the very first time with Flax. And this is the most amazing thing I think I've ever shared with anyone. Oh my God, I'm scared. Every time I get scared, I can't help but grab Flex. He's just all big and strong, and he makes me feel safe. Tonight, I've set up a beautiful dinner under the stars with me and Flex. I've had a great day with Flex, and I'm excited to see where the night is going to take us. Cheers to you and to this amazing sighting and a great, wonderful day. I'm very thankful to be here, Daisy. I am. I respect you a lot, and I have so many good memories with you that it's ridiculous, and I'd like to further those memories. Awesome. And you're a beautiful girl. Every time that I'm near you and I touch you, like, I am falling in love with you, and it drives me crazy. I am falling in love with you. Flex tells me that he's falling in love. And I don't think a guy like him would say that unless he meant it. There's a part of me that's feeling the same way. That's all I need to hear. It feels great to hear that Daisy's falling in love with me too after all the hard work and effort that I put in. To hell with dinner. I want to go back to the hotel with my hunky date. Check, please. It's easy to be seen and it's easy to be hidden in the dark. You know, I'm glad that she's going on a date with Flex and uh, so I can kind of prepare some things. Well, you know, I, pr I promised Daisy, you know, way back in, uh, you know, the second, no, no, I guess the first challenge that I was going to eventually give her this song when it was real. I started to write you a song. It's not done, it's the very well, I want to at least hear like something of it. I got one of the lines here from Daisy's MySpace page. But I was... whoa, 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 excuse me for one second, I just want to interrupt. No. How many lines are in there? There's just two lines. Two lines and one of the lines you got from Daisy's MySpace page. Yeah, exactly. And at this point, like, I'm having real feelings for her. And, and I've got something to actually write about. Welcome to my room. Wow. We get into a room. She's got dessert set up on the table. She's got bottles of champagne. Her bed's decorated all nice with rose petals and stuff. I think this is gonna be a great night. I've been waiting a really long time to get this close to Flex, and I think tonight could be the night. doesn't come back and it keeps getting later and later and I'm trying to go to sleep and I'm just I'm tossing and turning I can't sleep I keep waking up it gets to like 4 a.m. and I'm, I'm, I'm realizing he's, he's spending the night with her Good night with Flex. I will see you soon. Hi. I feel closer to him than I've ever felt before. Ow! I spent the whole night like tossing and turning, being upset. When you know this all started, it wouldn't have bothered me if someone else was spending the night with her. But now I, I have feelings for her. Thank you. How so was your asshole. night? <laughs> How was my night? 
The look on London's face when he answered the door and I'm standing there shirtless was priceless. Congratulations, dude. You probably just won the whole thing. London is thinking the worst right now and I am loving every second of it. We get a knock at the door. It's a girl from the hotel and she's got a letter from Daisy. Good morning, boys. Tonight I go from two to my one. Now it's your turn, London. Get ready and I'll see you in an hour. XOXO Daisy. I'm gonna have you know, the last date. I get to make the last impression, and, you know, that's important. Like, I'll be the last one she remembers. I'll see you later, man. Yep. I'm worried, but in a sense, I'm not really too worried, because the sun's still out, so they can't be doing anything too intimate. Today is a really big day for me. This is the first day that I actually get to have an alone time with London. But it's also really scary for me because I have to make a decision tonight. Oh, Mike! Oh, oh, horseback riding, really? We're going horseback riding, yay! Ponies! All right, guys, this is Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hi, guys, welcome to Ironwood Ranch. So we're gonna go ahead and get you guys started. So. It's scary, he's looking at me evil. Three. <laughs> We're going horseback riding, that's our date. I'm kind of like, okay, cool, like I've done this before. I can't reach the gas pedal. So I'm like, okay, I'll, this is something I can look good at. Uh-oh, I lost my shoe. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, God, man. Bob is just dope. <laughs> this is my last chance to make a good impression on her, and basically, I'm behind her. Her horse is pooping the whole time. What is it? It's He's making off. apples or something there. I think bright green. I'm just thinking, please, can we like turn around and go back so I can you know, get off this thing and talk to Daisy? God, I'm afraid I smell like a horse later. As much as I wanted this date to be romantic, I think it might have been spoiled by the constant pooping of the horses. Stupid pooping horses. Oopsies. That's basically how it went the whole date. There was, there's nothing, I mean, I didn't get a chance to connect with her at all while we're riding horses. Let's get out of here and go uh, someplace else. So uh, she asked me to come back to our room with her and I'm excited. This is really my opportunity to play, you know, the song for Daisy. So you really know my song. Um, I'm, I'm not so nervous to play for Daisy because I play in front of people all the time. I'm, I'm nervous to play something that's like emotional Okay. I'm hoping that, you know, it's that she likes it. I'm being lost in shadows playing things seeds where nothing grows. I kept the lights out because it's easy to stay hidden in the dark. As I'm playing the song, I'm really just kind of staring down at the guitar, hoping I don't mess up. I'm not really seeing her reaction as I'm doing it. Uh, I'm hoping I'm sounding okay. This time I won't run away, woman. This time I won't mess around with your heart. Oh, no, no. That's basically what I have so far. So, apparently, this song is about his commitment to me and how he's not going to walk away. I really want to believe that. But this guy is all freaking rock star. I hate rock stars. God damn it. Ugh. You scare me. I'll stop being scared. I'm scared too. This is the last like place I ever expected to really like care about somebody. Vulnerable hot mess meets vulnerable hot mess. Sometimes I feel like you can be every fucking thing. But nothing that I'll ever have. I feel like I could be more into this guy than he's into me. And if that's the case, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Leaving the room, and uh, Daisy's crying again. I'm feeling like, a little bit worried about things, you know? But I think she's crying because she doesn't know what to do, and she's gonna have to make a decision. So it's either me or Flex. And either way, when I'm, you know, someone she cares about is gonna be gone. You fucking hate this. When London leaves my room, 
I'm more torn up about this situation than I have ever been since day one. I'm really happy to see Ricky because I severely need to talk to him. Well, talk to me. I have an array of emotions running through me right now. Love doesn't come without risk. Who do you think is the biggest risk? I think London is the biggest risk. Why do you think that? I think that London is the guy you've dated in the past. And flex is something different. Ricky is telling me Something that I maybe don't want to hear, but he might have a valid point. You know what I see right now? I see a girl that looks sad. I walked in here, I thought you'd be excited about making that choice. If you just spent a whole day in Hawaii with London and you're sad now, what do you have to look forward to? And I think you have a lot to think about. I'm gonna give you some time, okay? No matter what I decide, someone is gonna get hurt and it might even be me. I just want you to know, man, anytime you want to come visit me and Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> Is Daisy the, the, yeah. the name you're going to give your cat when you get one? <laughs> I already have one. My name's Phyllis. I might get a second one, though, name of Daisy. I feel like I'm going to puke. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty upset myself. This is like walking the Green Mile. It is like walking the Green Mile. I even got green exit signs. Lex, I hope you lose, lose but, but good luck to you, brother. You're a good guy. Good luck to you, too, buddy. Me and London are good men. It was just right for us to be gentlemen, shake each other's hands, you know, and, uh, you know, may the best man win. I mean, I'm nervous as hell. Like, I think this is probably the most nervous I've been in my entire life. Step up to the final elimination. I have no idea what's gonna happen and it's driving me fucking crazy. Let's just get this over with already. All of a sudden I see Daisy out of the corner of my eye in a little cute dress. Oh my God, she looks so good. I hope she picks me tonight so I can leave here with her and just leave London in the dust. This is the final elimination and I'm nervous, I'm scared. This is the hardest decision of my life. Flex, London, I've got my own idea, who I think is right for Daisy, but of course, ultimately, the decision is completely up to her. This is rough, I'm trying to calm down. And it's just like, by far the most intense experience I've ever been through. Daisy? You deserve the very best, and you should expect the best. Okay? Thank you for everything. It's down to two really awesome guys that I'm not gonna lie, I love a lot. Flex, when I first met you, all I thought that you were was a hot body, but you have showed me so much more. You are truly everything that is right for me. Great, uh, this is it. All right, like I'm just, I, it just hits me like I'm going home. <sighs> London, I almost kicked your ass out the first night you were drunk in the closet. But I had already had this weird, crazy, strong attraction to you. And then you fucking broke my heart. And then when I totally didn't expect it, you showed up. I have a really hard time explaining why I'm drawn to you. But I think the biggest reason is because I see a lot of myself in you. 
She says, London, I have immediate attraction with you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, let him go. And the time has come for me to make a choice. Flex, you are what I need. But what I want is London. I'm just like, yeah, all right. I mean, I was like, she's mine, she's my girlfriend. I mean, she's awesome. Flex, please come here. When I got here, I was just a funny guy named Flex. But you know, I got that, I got that sensitive side too. And she found it. And then now she goes and breaks my heart. I don't have her. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Where do I go? I am so sorry. It's all good. Okay. Listen, here's the thing. I'm not mad. And as much as I hate him right now, I have to get over it and not be stubborn for once. I understand wants and needs. What you want is what you want. I know, and I have to follow my heart. Saying goodbye to Flex was probably the hardest goodbye of all. I was somebody who stood my ground, who did everything for her, tried to make her have a great time, would have gave her the world, and you know, like, obviously she didn't want that. So if she wants to stick with her ways and not change her ways, then that's, you know, that's her burden. I'm my own self. I'll, I'll find somebody. It's going to take me a while, but I'll find somebody. Passion is what I crave. Okay. And you are by far what I want. Once a lifetime if you're I feel amazing. I knew we had this, like, real connection, you know, and I, I, but I felt like I messed up so bad, and the only thing I can say, I mean, there's, that we, there's really something there with her and me. You're my rock star. You're my rock star. <laughs> so what have we learned today? We've learned that Daisy never listened to anything I said. However, looking at Daisy in London, it appears to me that her and London are very happy together. London, you better treat her right. I'm fucking crazy about you. I'm fucking addicted to you. I mean it. I started with 20 guys, and it came down to this one guy. And the whole point was to find love. And holy cow, it worked. You know, there's all these other shows out there that everybody else, you get to the reunion show and they're like, oh, you know, we're just gonna take it slow and see what happens. You know, we don't wanna rush into anything. And uh, me and Daisy are trying to plan how I'm gonna miss my flight and come to her place tonight. So, you know. And you should, and honestly, seriously, at the end of it all, everyone thinks this stuff is fake. It's not always fake. This season on Daisy of Love. Welcome to Daisy's house. You guys are thinking you're here to become a TV star? Everybody, it's me, 12 Pack. I came here for Daisy. I came here to find love. My name is Dave. Mm hmm. I can't believe 12 Pack's here. I didn't come here for TV as soon as I heard about this. I chose to be here. 12 Pack is hot, but I still have my guard up. You right there, you're gonna be next. Whoa, totally hot, totally my style. I'm gonna call him London. London. Let me see your guns. <laughs> 
I am a sucker for guys with nice bodies. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't waste those on other guys. <laughs> she's laughing a lot, and, I, and she's starting to get who I am. Do you think you're right for me? When I kissed you the first time, mm -hmm. I felt something there. I'm here to find love, and that guy could be London. Instead of staying home and figuring out my life, I came here for you. Man, I can't do it this way. I want you to stay in this house. I can't take it. I do. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll be a different story, and uh, you know, I'll be able to, to write you that song. Being a little bad boy, I think she liked it. I love that daredevil quality in him. I want some CPR. I'm wearing women's underwear, and it just suddenly hits me. Oh, ow. I really have like an amazing connection with this girl. You looking at me as 12 pack, I feel like I can't get to you. I can't talk to you like that. I will call you Dave. I really dig being alone with 12 pack slash Dave. He has a really calming vibe to him. I feel like you're what I'm looking for. And all the little things that you do, it's just like, oh my God, she's so cool. I was able to open up on a different level with Daisy today. And I love kissing you, by the way. I do too. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Okay. So a few days ago, I get an email from, of all people, London. <gasps> hey. <laughs> Hi. 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 Part of me is really excited. Part of me is pissed. I don't want to be the guy that breaks you Okay. I'm not always that kind of guy. I feel something really deep with all three of these boys. We are going to fucking Maui! Woo! Cheers. Aloha! See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See ya. Coming up. Holy. So in love with you. Finally, you're telling me what I want to hear. I can see myself falling in love with Tall Pop. And later, I'm going to the airport. Holy crap. The elimination ceremony at the airport. Somebody is going home right this minute. London, last night was really intense. I don't know what's going through her head. Coming up. Someone's going home. It's like we're about to go walk down to the gas chamber. <laughs> we are going to the airport. She really wants one of us to go home fast. Well, guys, one of you has to go home now. Coming up. You scare me. Well, stop being scared. I'm scared, too. I really want to believe that. But you can be everything that I've been looking for, but nothing that I'll ever have. And later, if you just spent a whole day with London and you're sad now, what do you have to look forward to? I'm more torn up about this situation than I have ever been. I hate this. Coming up. And the time has come for me to make a choice. London, you fucking broke my heart. It just hits me like I'm going home. Flex, all I thought that you were was a hot body. If she passes me up, then she's making a huge mistake. 